Hi everyone, I just wanted to jump on here and talk about a little, something you can do to make your transition to a low carb ketogenic or GAPS protocol just a little bit easier. So my advice is just to find some lower carb, low starch veggies, but they're still higher in the carbohydrate and sugar content. So things like carrots, butternut, buttercup, pumpkin and beets come to mind and they also make great soups. So these soups can be cooked with generous amounts of healthy fats like butter, ghee, tallow, duck fat, or like I have today simmering some chicken fat. Uh, for a carrot ginger soup and all the similar style soups, uh, start with your base. So that's going to be your onions, your ginger, your celery. Saute in your fat of choice with a little bit of pink salt or Celtic salt, pepper optional, until translucent and soft. Add some garlic towards the end of the cooking, down of the onion and celery, and ginger as it cooks pretty fast within 60 seconds. Then go ahead and add some broth and carrots or your butternut and beets, just chunks. Simmer them until it's nice and soft with a little bit of um, broth of your choice and also maybe some full fat uh, coconut milk, it's a great option. Then blend it with your immersion blender. You can top it with creme fraiche, yogurt, kefir. Uh, this is a perfect lunch to go and perfect for packing in the kids' lunch. Um, yeah, so it could hit the spot for you. So we've already got the onions and celery cooked down, ready to go. Now I'm just going to add that garlic. It cooks really fast. Usually within 60 seconds. As soon as you start, you know, start smelling it, is what I remember the rule of thumb always was, then you know it's ready to go. And just throw in your carrots and some chicken broth. You can use store bought or just make your own. I just ran out of, I usually have some, but I ran out. And then a little bit of extra. This is just some chicken fat. This will make nice flavor. And then I have a can of this full fat coconut milk. Let's definitely look for the full fat kind because I know there's a lot of light stuff on the market. It's not as good. You want as much fat as you can get. And then I'm just going to simmer this down for probably 20 minutes. I've already salted it, so we're good to go. Now we're just going to simmer it down and then blend it. Alright, we're all done. Jonas liking this soup here. Oops. So we're just blended it up nice and smooth. I'm just going to have some of this right now. And then just finish it up with a little bit of sour cream. And that's it. Stir that in there. Yummy!